Well, here we are, everyone. We made it to the end of the PLL regular season. We made it to the end of PLL regular season. We made it to the end of Athletes Unlimited's regular season. We made it to the end of the World Lacrosse, the U21 Men's Championship. And I gotta tell you, the last couple weeks of lacrosse have been so good. It's been that good. Some damn good lacrosse. Now, the NL, they start their free agency on the 15th. Um, notable names, you know, like Logan Wisnowskins, he's got, uh, I believe he went to the Mammoth. Uh, you know, some trades have been happening, things have been going on in the NL. We'll talk about all of that, you know, sometime down the line when it gets closer to the NL season. Um, in the PLL, really, you know, the things that were, you know, being set up in the final couple weeks of the season were who was going to get the one seed, who was going to be eliminated, and uh, what in the world was going to happen, you know, with everything, you know. Um, so, the Whip Snakes, they got the number one seed. They will be taking a bye to the quarterfinals, and that we'll talk, we'll talk about the quarterfinals in a minute, we'll, or, you know. Um, but the Whips, you know, they finally have gotten it together. Yeah, they made it to where they are in a comfortable position. They get a couple more weeks rest, and, you know, it, it's good. Remember, the Redwoods had clinched in Salt Lake City. Chaos clinched today in Seattle by virtue of, Cannon, of the Cannons losing, who, again, relied on Lyle Thompson way too much and did not. You know, the Cannons just never could get over the hump this year. And it, it truly a terrible season for them. Chaos, on the other hand, you know, despite the fact that they lost to Atlas today, I didn't even watch the two games today because I kind of figured the Cannons would lose. Um, there was no way the Whipstakes were going to let up off the gas like that. There's just no way that was going to happen, you know. So, Whipstakes the one. And the championship series in 2023 is as follows. It is as follows, baby. It will be the Whips, Chrome, Archers, and Atlas in the championship series in February 2023. Remember, that's Sixes style. So that's a different style of cross than what you're used to. In the quarterfinals, it will be Chaos versus Chrome in the, in the early game. And then, you know, the mid-afternoon, Redwoods and Archers. And then, you know, to kick off the nightcap, it'll be Atlas and Water Dogs. And the winner of the Atlas Water Dogs game will be taking on the Whips in the semifinals. That first semifinal game, you know, it'll be on ABC, Big ABC, that, you know, that Sunday. And it's going to be it's gonna be good. It's going to be a good time for the playoffs because, I mean, all seven of these teams could win you know, potentially, they could potentially win this whole thing. Now, remember, I went with the Redwoods preseason. Now, remember, I went, oh, y'all got to go back. And remember, I said Redwoods preseason. I'm going to stick with my pick here. Uh, Archers at times have been kind of inconsistent. You know, the Chrome, you know, despite the fact that they got Nick Turn and Wisnowskis, you know, I, I think, you know, the Chrome sometimes are a bit vulnerable themselves. The Water Dogs have lost a couple games straight. The Atlas, you know, with Teat and Gray, I mean, th this this could be a dangerous reputation that could be following. But uh, I'm gonna stick with my guts here, even though I, even though it probably might be wrong, you know, that I think the Red, I don't think the Redwoods will win the PLL this year. But I, I, I'm sticking with my guts and going with my preseason prediction because that's just how it is. So that's what we're gonna do in September the first three weeks of September it's going to be all PLL and unless the NL releases the schedule you know before then and you know it'll be fine uh, so yeah there's that Athletes Unlimited real quick Taylor Moreno she won the 2022 championship barely edged out Sam Bapuzo 10 point swing there um, in the leaderboard like, it was that close. It was a neck-and-neck -neck race. They had to announce the next day. You know, they had to announce it on Monday last week. You know, but we knew, you know, and I looked at the leaderboards and stuff like that. Moreno, what a great season uh, for all the ladies in Athletes Unlimited. 
in world lacrosse. We're still trying to get, you know, the Olympic status for lacrosse up in the air. That's still up in the air. But in the U21 game, which I did watch, I actually watched it, I know. Uh, you know, no shot clock and everything. You know, you had guys like Pat Cavanaugh, Connor Curse there for the USA, and I forgot who was for Canada's side, but I know there were some guys that, you know, are at some big time schools, you know, in the US that uh, are on Canada's tier. You know, the US, they beat Canada in the gold medal final. The Hope Nashoni got the bronze medal. Uh, and I mean, it was a damn good game between the US and Canada. Nine straight. 21 t titles for the US and there you go with that and in professional box lacrosse the, the, the professional box lacrosse association team names have been revealed the only ones that stick out to me are the Charlotte bootleggers and the New England Chatterheads now again the Chatterheads again that's probably because of the area that it's in because you know clam chowder New England yada 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 the other team's names, the Trenton Terror, the Syracuse Spark, the Hampton Hammerheads, the Elmira Renegades, and the Binghampton Bombers. Um, I don't know when the PBLA will have their season. I've seen, you know, they. it looks like on their social medias they are following ESPN, so that could be a sign of something to come for them, but who knows? Um... We'll see what the PBLA does the next few weeks, but for now, um, team names have been announced. Uh, we know, we do know some things, you know, like there's going to be like a 14 game schedule. It's going to be like a single elimination playoff and everything like that. But all that doesn't matter now. PLL playoffs are here, and in two weeks' time, we'll be knowing. We will be one step closer to finding out. Who will be the 2022 PLL champion? Will the Whip Snakes win their third title in four years? Will the Chaos win their second straight title? Will somebody else rise up and win a title? Will it be Chrome? Will it be Archers? Will it be Redwoods? Will it be Water Dogs? Will it be Atlas? Who is going to rise up and win a title from those five? And if there's going to be a repeat, could be the Chaos. If there's going to be a there's going to be a champion that's been at this stage for it might be the whips but who knows playoff race in the PLL is wide open there's so much going on so until then big boy sports signed out and I'll see you all Wednesday night to talk college football week zero take care everybody